Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. And as you can see there, I'll go back out and go back in one more time. We have the Foot Birthday Loading Screen made available. Actually, I'll just show you right here. EA tweeted it today. This is the Foot Birthday Loading Screen with the official car design in FIFA right now. Uh, shown to us on the screen. Now, I expect this to get upgraded one more time today on Thursday. Hopefully, they give the, us some hints. Maybe they give us like three cars in the front like they normally do, but maybe some positions, maybe some stats, some nationalities, or even teams if they want to go that far. So we're kind of hoping for that today. But that's the one thing we're hoping for today on Thursday, Rewards Day. And I want to just talk about, again, maybe some buy time scenarios, right? Based on what types of cards you guys might want to be buying or what you're expecting uh, for kind of that big time Friday, this Friday, in uh, one day on FIFA. I just want to talk about that through that today because uh, I think there's a lot of cards that people have sold and they're waiting to buy once they open their packs for foot birthday and just see what the promo is all about. But speaking about what the promo is all about, this is not a leak. This is purely the foot accountant's brain at work right here. I want to take notice of what EA did tonight. EA, they tweeted out their loading screen. They also tweeted, they retweeted two very popular content creators in this community, Bateson and Zwayback. Both posted pictures today using hashtag for birthday um, with the graphic of the loading screen involving like flashbacks to FIFA 12 to FIFA 17 for Zwayback and, and FIFA 12 for Bateson. And this kind of has me thinking, right? I feel like this is getting glossed over right now. Are we going back to a foot birthday promo that is going to be giving us cards from the past that are, um, you know, like in FIFA 17, I think it was, we had S Vine, we had Agbang Lahore, we had uh, Bent, we had players from older FIFAs that were very OP and very meta and like community favorites. Is that going to be something that happens with this foot birthday? Now, I know a lot of us want the five-star weak foot, the five-star skill move upgrades, maybe some position changes. I want those too. Um, but uh, this is making me start to wonder as to what foot birthday could actually be about because I'm seeing those tweets and I'm seeing uh, that stuff go on on the Twitter machine right now. So of course, that is nothing guaranteed. That's just theoretical thinking happening in my mind anyway. But let's talk about some buy time, right? Because again, if we, I want to show you some prices and let's take a look at some graphs because um, there is a lot of stuff right now on this game that is down. And I'm going to start off by talking about out of pack special cards and icons, specifically out of pack icons like this mid dog leash, because there's a lot of guys that have sold off cards like this in the past two weeks as they're expecting for birthday. And now we're at a point where, hey, a lot of these guys are going to want to buy back as well. Depending on what the content is, there's going to be demand for all of these cards. And especially since they're out of packs, there's potential for a bounce, right? All this saved up packs, all the selling beforehand with this promo, all the hype leading up to it. There's a lot of people that are waiting to buy cards or waiting to either buy new for birthday cards or buy old out of pack specials to buy a team again because they've sold cards before they drop down in the quote unquote crash. Uh, look at this dog leash, right? This is prime example number one. So this date right here is when we were on the foot player days promo in early March. Of course, when that promo came out, this dog leash card went from about 1.2 mil all the way down to about 1 million coins. He was actually in the 900s for a bit there too. He then rose back the next week to 1.1. Kind of went down in the midweek again and then rose back to almost 1.1. And now he's back down in this past week or so. He's been in the 900s again, almost as low or lower than he was during that foot player days promo, which is the same story for a lot of cards. Now let's look at like Harvey Barnes, right? Here's a Harvey Barnes special card, 330K, popular Premier League player, early March, right? He goes down to 333, bounces back to 380. He's been chilling between 350 and 370 for the past week. But of course, the last couple of days, 330,000 coins or lower for this card. So a lot of stuff is reaching low points once again. And that tells me that people are selling these cards off, waiting for foot birthday to come out. And whether foot birthday is super hype or 
whether it is, you know, very lackluster, which, you know, hey, it's, it could happen, right? We don't want to think about it because that's not the fun scenario, but it could happen. Uh, I think there are a lot of cards in this game that will bounce back because, again, this is a recipe for a very similar promo we had earlier this year named Black Friday, right? And same thing with Team of the Year. You have a lot of saved up packs. You have a lot of hype around the promo. I just stole the card. Let's go. And you have people that will open those saved up packs. They'll look at the new promo content, maybe do an SBC, maybe start an objective, but then they're like, frick, man, I got to buy my team back. These prices are lower than they were before. And people have coins once again for either buying FIFA points because EA has drained a lot of accounts in the past two weeks with Icon SBCs, with Party Bag SBCs and the like. Uh, so either with FIFA points because they're broke and they want to come back to the game for foot birthday or they are going to go out uh, and they are going to um, open their saved up packs that they have been working towards. Some people have like hundreds of saved up packs that they've been saving up, right? And that's just more coins being put onto this game through lightning rounds and saved up packs. And that's where the coins are going to come back into this market uh, where they haven't been put on the market in the last couple of weeks because all those saved up packs means coins that are not getting on the market because people are not opening those, they're saving them, and it's going to be a huge coin injection this Friday. So I think a lot of stuff that is meta, that is popular, is going to rise back up. I think it's going to be a pretty solid boom on Friday night into Saturday into this weekend. I think you'll see a nice solid rise on the market. It has all of the recipes and all of the ingredients, I guess you could say, for that sort of situation. So if there's anything that is out of packs or that is an icon, especially an icon out of packs, a baby or a mid card, as I'm looking through a lot of these team of the weeks here, maybe it's just somebody from a recent team of the week that you want to get in your team, right? Like this KDB, this guy was 630K today. That was a buy. He was down low. You know, maybe it's even Tierney. Maybe it's Jota, his team of the week card, brand new team of the week. It's got some hype. These sort of cards, I would look, you know, maybe between the time frame of now and of course Friday morning. I do think if we get more information on a loading screen today on Thursday that could bring out some popular high players or EA maybe shows us what they might be kind of focusing this promo on that you could see a little bit more panic, but I feel like most people in this game have already sold cards and it would take something crazy for there to be a lot more panic on some of these out of pack special cards. So I think this weekend, maybe Friday morning, of course, a promo morning, and you know, maybe even today, we've seen uh, panic selling every single day uh, this week into the 6 p.m. content drop. This is a card that I have specifically in my mind, remembering having panic. He's backed up 980 for Usman Dembele. So this guy is staying low, but he did go from a million coins to about 1.07 at one point today. Wow, what in the world? That is very cheap for Usman right now. So a panic on a card like this is something that I would be interested in. That is very, very low, man, that's crazy. Uh, you know, a guy like Alan St. Maximin as well, not to just focus on the freeze cards, um, but this guy is still going to be meta regardless of what comes out in the next day or two with foot birthday, five star skills, four star weak foot, Gucci headband. You guys remember, right? You guys know last year, this was his promo, right? He came out with that five star, five star card. Everybody was going bananas about that item. So um, that's kind of what I would look for on the out of pack special market, right? This son, 630K for Hyunmin son. I know it's not really. It's not like this card is very hyped up this year. He could get into foot birthday, which could draw some more hype to his card, right? Maybe rise this one up and of course be a cheaper alternative for people that want to use him. Holland is down because he was not in the team of the week. Wow, that's an open bid right there at 555. I picked one of these up tonight at 600K because this guy is just flat rare, man. So I'm hoping that bounces back up a little bit. I'm not super duper confident about it. We'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, like out of pack stuff and icons, I would look into that stuff seriously before 6 PM on Friday, or maybe right after the content drop in case EA drops something sick, because after that, I think it just continues to go up. People go back out, they buy their weekend league teams and that's how it goes. Right. And that's, that kind of encompasses everything that is not in packs, right? Everything that is not in packs. Now let's talk about stuff that is in packs, right? This team of the week is going to get flooded, right? It's going to get destroyed. That's going to drop down in price a lot. This Nabry is going to be an interesting one uh, because he's going to become pretty good value, I think. And left mid, Bayern links, you know, that's a very good card that links to a lot of players in this game. These guys are going to get supplied a bunch on Friday. They're going to drop a ton. Also, your guys that are in packs, gold cards, Neymar, Mbappe, 
Varan. As long as they don't get in to the actual Foot Birthday promo and have a, a card in packs uh, as a Foot Birthday card, you're probably going to see some of these, these guys drop as well, maybe in the first 30 minutes to the hour with all the saved up packs that will come out. But then after that, you're probably going to see them trickle upwards in price um, as people go back out and they buy their teams for the weekend league. Um, so that's one thing I would mention about that. And then SBC fodder as well. This is the index 86 and I have it zoomed out all the way for the entire year right here, just to show you guys how this stuff has been moving right now. We know that 86s have dropped off a decent amount. We were at 528 points on the index earlier this week on the 21st. We are now down to 457. Currently we were at 360. Uh, during foot player days and that's was even higher than what we were at a few weeks ago when it was quote-unquote Low right a month ago in February 316 points One month later 360 and then it goes up to 528,000 coins I want to see this index 86 get back in the 350 360 range before I would think about buying any of these cards a lot of people All right, and I want to be careful with this I think I mentioned it a little bit yesterday and I want to mention it again today tons of people in this community just made buku money on SBC fodder and informs and everybody and their brother this week is going to want to go invest in these cards during lightning rounds on Friday. Now, does it seem like a bad idea to me? No, it does not, right? We still have a lot of SBCs that are out. You got Mbappe, Messi, Player of the Month. You still have an Icon SBC that is out. They're probably going to re-up with a new Icon SBC on Sunday or Monday of this next week because the other ones are going away. And of course, EA is putting a lot of packs out. A lot of saved up packs are going to be opened. They know that. That creates potential for them to take some of those coins back off the market and for a lot of people to be interested in an Icon SBC. So... You know, the investment thought process checks out for some of these cards like cap. Okay, I want to buy some 86, 87, 88 rated cards during lighting rounds because they will get low. Again, all I'll say is just be careful because I feel like there's a lot of people that will invest. And if EA don't drop a sick SBC in the next two days after that weekend of foot birthday, a lot of people have bought fodder and there'll be no SBCs that will come out. The fodder might not go up that much. And then you won't see a decent, you won't see that, that nice variety. I just don't like counting on EA to drop SBCs. Um, even when it seems expected, I don't like counting on EA Sports to drop SBCs to make my cards rise. That's just my thing. I'm not really into it. I do think that if you can get some low bids, right? Again, remember the price. Think about getting a price on a card and not necessarily, oh, hey, this should be a good time to buy. Think about getting a good price. Neuer's 68,000 coins. What was he when he was low, right? 65K last week on Tuesday when he was low. 67K. He went to 80,000 coins on Sunday. So I'm saying if this Neuer card is in the low 60s, you're getting interested, right? Especially if these SBCs require a lot of chemistry as they have been. What about Ramos? 65K for Ramos. He's one of the cheapest right now as an 89 rated card. He was at 78K. When the first player pick came out, he was 90K. You know, so some of these guys are dropping a decent amount uh, for what they usually are in the second half of the year. But uh, I need to see still, I would like to see a little bit more drop off on these because that's the safe route. And like I'm saying Ramos, 89 rated cards at 60K. Now, the crazy thing to me would be is if there's so many people that are going out to buy SBC fodder this week uh, on lightning rounds is that if you actually see some fodder cards go up, some of the really high rated fodder, that would make me laugh so hard because that'd be such an investing part of the community thing to do is just have no regard and buy fodder. So again, get the good price don't try to time it, right? Get the good price. Look at a graph or whoever fodder player you want to, you want to buy, whether it's like an 84 rated card, like an Alaba, or whether you're just buying one of the cheapest by rating, right? Uh, all these chemistries they put out require chemistry. So what, what whatever card you want to go after, um, whether it's for you know a more expensive player for that rating or just one of the cheapest, just remember to look at the graph. Think about, you know, do I see a lot of people bidding on this card like higher than its buy and out price? Am I missing all the snipes at the 59th minute during lightning rounds? Because if you are, that might be a sign that there's a lot of people looking to invest in fodder. And that for me would put me off a little bit because I don't want to be doing all that if everybody else is involved. If there's all those people going to do that, I don't want to be involved. So that's my thoughts about stuff that's in packs. Not a rant. All right. It probably sounded a bit like a rant. Um, but 
at the most, what I'm going to be doing this weekend is a club stock, buying some 85s through 89s, maybe chucking a few in the club. Cause yeah, I think EA is going to put out icon SBCs during foot birthday. They did last year. And we'll take a look at that a little bit more in a video later on, um, kind of showing what they did last year. Cause they did do that. Right. And fodder last year, we looked at that actually two days ago, I think on uh, Tuesday's video, fodder went up a decent amount later on, actually during foot birthday team two, Fodder went up crazy high amounts because of the SBCs that they put out then. So that's how I'm feeling about the stuff that is in packs. Now, I, for, I failed to talk about icons or the actual brand new full birthday cards. We'll for sure talk about the full birthday cards in tomorrow's video because they're going to get supplied very heavily in that first hour as well. But just like SBC Fodder, that's going to be one area where it's going to be a lot of competition on the market because a lot of people are gonna to wanna to buy those for birthday cards right off the rip because they know they're saved up packs and that has been a very popular thing to do in the past uh, few weeks on FIFA is to buy those cards when they're saved up packs because they know the supply is coming in hot. So icon moments though, to, for a quick shot on these, these are gonna rebound incredibly on, uh, on, on Friday night. These are gonna do fantastic because these are also cards people want to use and to try out. Eusebio is nine mil. You know, some of these cards, you might see some pretty sizable undercuts on, you know, some of your big boys like this best has got a bid at 3-1. That's an interesting open bid there. Um, you know, I, I do think a lot of these cards like this Hernandez is a very popular icon. He has a little bit more supply than some others. Just keep an eye on some of them, right? Now, a couple that come off the top of my head that are very rare. Rivaldo is a very one, rare one. This Kaká has dropped a ton, 4.3 mil. Uh, you know, you might see some really nice rebounds on some of these icon moments yes they are in packs so they're going to get supply a little bit there's an open bid maradona with the 6-3 lid on a uh, bid on it you're going to see some supply and you're going to see some of those cards popping up fresh at the 59th minute but 100 percent, i would be interested in trading with some of these guys because again they're icons some of those rare cards in the game and when people have coins again coming out of this weekend they're going to be wanting to buy some of these cards rio is under three mil 2.9 they're going to want to be trying these cards, giving them uh, a spin in the weekend league and uh, and using them, right? So these icon moments are still pretty fresh to a lot of people. They're trying them out and their prices have dropped a decent amount so that people can actually afford them too. That's part of the situation that's going on as well. So we'll talk about foot birthday cards a little bit more tomorrow. I did forget to add one thing. Uh, foot watch tonight. I don't now at the time of recording this, there's nothing else that foot watch has added other than the brand new season objective stuff. That is going to be coming out on Friday as well, because yes, right? This Friday is a brand new season. So new icon swaps. There's going to be people that'll be grinding their swaps right away. It'll be a great time, a fantastic time to get your 81, 82, 83 times 25 packs from the icon swap section, depending on the team that is out. Of course, if they only put a few players out in packs, like if they only do a promo with a few players, uh, if they don't do a full team, then we might have to, you know, maybe wait for team two and it might be worth waiting a little bit more. We'll see. Um, but people's clubs are going to be feeling good this weekend, right? A lot of people's clubs are empty right now, but with the saved up packs, icon swap packs, people's clubs are going to be feeling full once again with fodder, with golds, with rare golds. And again, I think rare golds and common golds right now are still basically discard on the market. So even though there might be a little bit of competition on bidding, if you can snag these guys, yeah, 350 coins for these cards, basically nothing. It's a fantastic time to be snagging some of these to stock your club if you either want to go on a sign and invest or if you are looking to um, build a lot of upgrade packs, which should come on Sunday as well when this new team drops. So again, one more day closer to the big day on Friday with foot birthday, the birthday of ultimate team happening in FIFA. Hopefully today we get a nice little loading screen. I am expecting the market to pop up a little bit. I'll show you guys again when I have the transfer list. I have just bought some things that were low, um, you know, in the meantime. I invested in a couple of these Orsage cards at about 120 to 130,000 coins. Most of them I got around 125, like this one. And I got a couple of low prices in a few of these guys. So I'm just probably going to hold those until after rewards. Hope that the market picks up just enough so that I can clear these guys out for a small profit. And then we'll head into the content drop on Thursday um, and just kind of say, hey, yo, what's up, EA Sports? What do you have for us today? And it'll be uh, probably just a new loading screen. I'm not expecting anything big today on Thursday. Um, we've had multiple days in a row with a player SBC, actually. So maybe they cool off from that. Just drop us marquee matchups. Um, and yeah, maybe... 
yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe some sort of, uh, yeah, you know, SBC, like a pack SBC related to the, the World Cup qualifier games that are going on right now, the international stuff that is being played at the moment as well, which makes me, small reminder, I know this is like not related to a full birthday at all, but next week's team of the week is going to be an international team of the week, so just keep an eye on some of these games. Um, you had Thomas Tuchek, who scored literally a hat trick, I think, for the Czech Republic today in the first half of their game. Yeah, he scored in the 32nd. Sorry, not all in the first half. He scored in the 32nd, in the 43rd, and in the 48th minute. Sushak had a 10.0 match rating on Sofa Score. So, I mean, that just smells like team of the week for me. But anyways, just kind of put that out there and as a reminder for that as well. But that's how I'm feeling about what could be like buy times and scenarios for these cards that are in the game right now with fodder, with out-of-packs, icons, and informs, and some of the stuff that will be in packs this weekend as well. Those are my thoughts. If you have any questions, drop them down below. Of course, leave a like on this if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel. If you're new, it's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.